Nama, good afternoon. Hi there, Lantam. I'm smiling, but my heart is heavy. Well, as we've seen, he has been officially relieved of his duty along with the technical team. When we move over to X, here are your thoughts. Jamal says, that's all. If you can't do the job, you go away. Then um, Mofti says, we waited till we were eliminated before they sacked him. Ah, but you can't have a team without a coach. Then also, um, McWalker says it is long overdue. The next comment, Kurt is the problem. This is the sixth coach we have sacked under Kurt's administration. But the problem still remains unsolved. The next comment, sacking the coach alone will not change anything. They need to dissolve the whole Football Association. Bright ads, sacked or resigned, they have to put out proper measures in place and stop this protocol call-up and selection of match day squad. When we move over to Instagram, we have here, it's a long comment, but I want to pick the last part here. The GFA has a negative influence on every coach they contact. Where is the lie is asking? Again, the GFA has their 27-man squad already. Whoever comes as a coach is just coming under the GFA's direction and influence. We have to dissolve the GFA and start a proper scout. Hashtag dissolve GFA. Who, um, <laughs> we won't read that there. Then we have Tommy who says, so he waited to be sacked first. Then he's stubborn. He was supposed to sack himself first. Jonas adds, this is why we never get good. We never get good. We've sacked the wrong person. Then we have here V, whoever that sacked him should be sacked as well. Then the next comment, Hope Kurt is sacked too. When we move over to Facebook, we have engineer who says, where is the sports minister? The GFA president is asking their Ketri, sack Kurt and his team. Every head must roll in that office. Samuel says, GFA secretariat should be ready for a demo. I mean a big one. I wonder if you're going to start it, Samuel. Then Charles says, well, he is the coach and rightly deserves to be sacked. Um, this is even long overdue. Any technical person of football should have seen this long ago, that the coach and the technical team are not good enough. There are also issues of favouritism and corruption in player selection. Benny adds, not only that, but we need a new leader in the team and it shouldn't be from the Ayo family. Amate Jiku... Um, Dijiku and Pate or Pate should lead, my opinion. Isaac Uusu, we should be sacking coaches, but still the problem persists. The root cause is nurturing the young, talented players. Raymond says, and they have officially been paid fully. OK, then, George, it's not news. If the GFA president and minister of sports are sacked, that will be news. We also have here, he must be arrested for um, prosecution. He has cost a huge financial loss to the state, and that's um, Ousu Kesi. Then Edem adds, that's the culture of the game, but what do we gain? Only waste of resources and to get another technical hand. What at all have we learned in the past 30 years of competitive soccer? Since Polo, Abedi, Tony Eboa, Tony Bafo, etc., we are still testing the waters. A. Eh? Then Emmanuel Frimpong says the person who sacked him must also be sacked ASAP with about 85% of the players. Then um, Bernard, the problem is the GFA president and not the coach is his opinion. Darlington says, I think the GFA itself should be dissolved. Portia adds to the discussion or asks, what about the invisible people telling him which players to select or not? Ghana, my beloved. Then we have our last few comments here. Surveyor says, Kurt must go. Then Richard says, this is the wrong target. Then we have um, Alberta, our last comment on Facebook. He's not our problem more. I hope you people don't regret your decision. Same way the people who voted for Nana are. Well, maybe if we clear everybody out and start afresh, we will get fresh and better results. Let's continue hearing from you on Instagram, Facebook, and on Twitter. My name is Nanama Aqua. Lantam, back over to you. Thank you very much, Nanama Aqua.